All right, welcome back to the Tyler Keller Show. We're on week three of the NFL picks and predictions, coming from yours truly, of course. And um, it's no secret we've uh, we haven't done good through two weeks, but everyone did better than last week, which is a positive. Uh, me and Tyrell seventeen and fifteen overall, and Temple sixteen sixteen. So it's close with our uh, very average records, but I expect all of us to do better. Uh, for more weeks and all that. So the record's going to look better. We're not going to even talk about the Thursday night football game because, you know, I think everyone ha everyone in America, minus a few Giants fans, probably had the uh, 49ers winning. Uh, probably most Giants fans had the 49ers winning, if we're being honest. But um, go to the Titans at the Browns, and with Kareem Hunt now on the – rim for the Browns with Nick Chubb's unfortunate injury and everything. And it his injury literally looked like the one he had in college with Georgia. It, it's kind of scary how close it is with how the injury happened. Um, I've picked against the Titans every week, and uh, this week I'm doing the same. I like the Browns at home and especially that defense. Uh, give me the Browns in a close one. Yeah, I'm going to take the Browns. Uh Somehow the Titans were able to beat the Chargers last week, but mm -mm -mm. yeah, I, I don't, I'm not too high on the Titans. It's just they're just kind of just there to me. So <laughs> I'm I'm just going with the Browns. This the better team. I got I feel you on that. Um, we got the Falcons, the two and O Falcons. Um, yeah, you know, close game against the Packers. I picked I picked the Packers and then maybe I need to stop picking them. Maybe they'll win if I, you know, pick against <laughs> them. But we got the 2-0 Falcons against the Detroit Lions that lost to Seattle last week, I believe. Uh and then you actually picked that one. So, but this week I do not think Detroit loses. I think they uh give the Falcons their first uh, defeat of the season. I got Lions and uh I think it'll be another close game, but I got lines. Yeah, I think it'll be a close game. Uh, I'm going to go with the lines, though, this week. Just Atlanta being on the road. and I mean, but they did lose Gardner Johnson. So, I mean, it's – if Atlanta wins, I guess, you know, yeah, it's it just – Yeah, it'll it just be what it is. It is what it is. But, yeah, um, um – Temple picked the Browns as well, and then he's picking the line. So we are three for three with the picks. Now, this is going to be where it separates because we got the Saints coming into Limbo. As, of course, you know, he's a Green Bay fan. Temple's a Saints fan. So they're going to obviously pick. They're obviously going to pick their own team. So I'm the tiebreaker here. I, I don't – and I really don't know who to pick because – with how how is Green Bay going to come off with the you know with a one point loss, the Saints undefeated, but man, it's because of the defense. It's not because of the offense. And honestly, I would go, I would probably go Saints if AK wasn't suspended because I think he's a big time playmaker in difference for him. But I uh, to give me the Packers in a close one. I think the Packers in a close one. Um, mm. uh, it, it, it's it's especially in Lambo too, and Derek Carr is good for probably two picks in this game. I would be surprised, and and his dumb self will try Jair too, and it's not going to look good. So, if you've seen the throws Derek Carr has made this year, and he always try to be fitting it, in, hey, he's basically like a great value Brett Favre. You know how Brett Favre just wow. be be throwing the hell out of the ball. And he going to try to fit it in the window. That's what Derek Carr is, but to a very lesser degree. So, I think Derek Carr is good for two picks, and that's why Green Bay wins. More of the defense, because this is going to be a low-scoring game. Uh, I mean, I don't know. Uh, I mean, I don't – I hope it's not a low-scoring game. I think we're probably – we put up what thirty something first week and then twenty. I think it was twenty four last week. So. I just, I just feel I just feel like this 
all Saints games so far this year been low scoring. I think this is the same thing. I think with Aaron Jones being back. That's a and big And then getting Christian factor. Watson, I think, and just the way Jordan Love has looked. The first two games, uh, man, it's – man, we had – we probably should have had 30 last week too. We definitely should have had 30 last week. Mm-hmm. But, so, yeah, I don't know. Our offense looks really good. We got a, a bunch of young talent that's just fast out there. So, uh Mm-hmm. It'll be interesting to see how our O line holds up because last week we lost, uh, we didn't have two starters in. Uh, and against the the Saints uh, front, their line, it'll be interesting to see because Jordan Love really, they protected him really well the first two games. So as long as they can do that, then I'm sure we'll be able to, you know, pick on that defense. I don't know. I I think it's just gonna be a low scoring game, but we'll we'll see. We'll see. I hope I hope I'm not. I hope I don't jinx them and have Green Bay lose again with me no picking way. them. But no it's the thing about it. first game, first mm. home game. You yeah, remember, you remember what you said when it was y'all's first home game, right? Yeah, we're gonna win, and we did. Think about it. we don't have to play. This is gonna be our third game. I mean, y'all 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 should come out. Especially at home. We're going we to knock their heads off. But I think it's really going to be a close game. I think a lot of these – well, not this next one. Denver at the Dolphins. I think Dolphins – I think Dolphins probably going to beat them by 10-plus. And it's it's going to be close, but not close in the same aspect. I I solely expect the Dolphins to uh, beat up on the Broncos. I'd be disappointed if they don't. I'm taking the Dolphins. uh through the first two weeks, they're looking like, you know, just one of the favorites to go and win the Super Bowl. They just – it seems, you know, with two – I mean, which everybody knew it kind of last year, but just these first two games, it's looked, it's looked like they've gotten better. And it's like, dang, how – you know, how could that happen? And they still don't have, you know, uh, Jeff Wilson back yet. Mm-hmm. Jalen Ramsey will be back in a few weeks. Uh that's a tough team. That's a tough team. There's they got way too much speed on the offense and Dude, I predicted them for the Super Bowl last year before Tua started getting, you know, yeah. his concussions. I I I think this team is Hill and Waddle. It's really hard to they're both so fast. It's Yeah, so hard and then hard. like route running for him, Waddle's getting better. Oh, yeah, Waddle's every, route running is really good. Like every game, but we already know Tyreek, all he has to do with his speed his route running doesn't even he have can, to. He'll just take a sl- – he'll get a slant, and it's 60, 70 yards. Dude, he don't even have to do a slant. He can do like a – go up just a little bit and stop there for like a check down. And have you seen the videos? They've uh, they've added in him doing a lot of motion. Like before they say uh, hut, he'll be running. He'll motion left. He'll be sprinting. And as soon as they say hut, yeah. they just throw it to him like on the run. Dude, I'm telling you, it – That look, it's, it's OP. It's hey. OP. Ty- Tyreek, I'm telling you, it's so – he's so difficult to guard. And people's like, man, he, he you should be able to guard him. Nah, not with Waddle out there now. He's on pace for 2K. Yeah, because, I mean, if you Waddle's dangerous. Waddle can <laughs> – it's crazy because Waddle is only wide receiver two because of Tyreek Hill. Waddle can be wide receiver yeah. one on just about every team. Yeah, league, so. yeah. So we all got the uh, Dolphins there. Um, the battle of the O and two teams, and it shouldn't be O and two. Uh, oh, yeah. Maybe not the, the L A Chargers at the Minnesota Vikings. Maybe the Vikings, but O and two teams. And man, I don't even know what to pick. You know, for me, you know, I like you know Justin's a, a Oregon man, and I really want to go with them, but. Dude, they've cost me two games already this year, and I'd be, mm, and I'd be damned if it's a third one. The Vikings at home. Ooh. I hate to say it, and get, and I hope they just prove me wrong. Just give me another L with these Chargers games. I hope they prove me wrong. I really do, but 
I go Vikings. Justin oh, Jefferson. I forgot Austin Eckler's out too. Yeah, Austin. But that Joshua Kelly is going to be good yeah. for him. He, he, well, I mean, he's, 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 he's not. Hmm. Yeah, they're not that either. But, no, I don't know. The Chargers love to find ways to lose games. That they should win. Yeah. And they should not be doing it with this team. Hell no. But I got Vikings. I go with Vikings. I'm going to go Chargers just because uh, just because defense, I think Chargers will get a stop or more stops than what the Vikings will. Even though, you know, the Vikings, you know, they'll want to – they're going to want to come out and win this game, you know, uh, frustrating mm -hmm. two losses. Uh, their defense, I don't know what you can do really. And right now, besides adding, like, just better defensive players. What's crazy is they lost uh, Kendricks, and he's in with the Chargers. Yeah. So, it, it's so it's kind of their fault for this defense. And they lost just, to Darius Smith. He went to the Browns. It, it's really their fault for not uh, – I don't know. but It's just they – it's basically like they went all in on uh, offense, really. Yeah. Which is – I think Justin Jefferson will still have a – he's going to have a good game either way, but – I'm going to go Chargers. Yeah. Uh, Temple went with the Chargers as well. I really hope the Chargers win, but I – prove me wrong. It's one of those things. The New England Patriots on the road to the Jets. Um, if the Jets had a different quarterback, this would be a different story, but uh, I go Patriots, and I think Patriots should – should win handily for me because they, it's not like they got a bad team. It's mm -hmm. just they don't have a great team for me. But, uh, I mean, I like playing with New England on Madden, <laughs> but I think I'm going to go with Jets. Oh, uh, shoot. On the road. I mean, the Patriots, like that. how they play the season, it looks like, you know, this should be a game they win. But I like the Jets mm. here for some reason. I think uh, – yeah. I think it'll be a good defensive game. I think the Jets could end up, you know, pulling it off. I mean, I ain't gonna take too much from last week. I mean, the Cowboys are looks like they're gonna uh, without Diggs. Even without Diggs, they're probably gonna do that still to a few more teams just because they still. Now, if they didn't sign Gilmore, then I'd say different. But you still got him. You mm -hmm. still got Javon Curse, Vander Sedge, uh, Demarcus Lawrence. The, the defense even, still yeah. phenomenal. Yeah, so. they got. They gonna do that to a few more teams. So defense is amazing for the Cowboys, but that's crazy. But me and Temple are rocking with the Patriots this week on the road. Yeah, let's see, never picking them. Uh, I got uh, Zach Wilson. I'm sorry, he sucks. <laughs> the Buffalo Bills on the road to the Commanders. This is an interesting game because mm. Eric uh, Blimmer. I can't say the name. Bellamy. But Bl yeah. He has got this offense rocking, and a lot. And I, one thing I didn't like is a lot of people question why he would move to from you know KC to mm -hmm. Washington. Well, look at the Chiefs' offense compared to what they were last year. I mean, it's look. I mean, I know they've had injuries and that all game that. Last week was bad. Yeah, that was a. Uh, with Travis Kelsey, got, ooh, and then the, with the line against the Lions first week. Not looking good, and people was thinking, oh, uh, you know, he shouldn't be a head coach and all that. Well, he's trying to prove that. That's why he went to Washington to prove the doubters wrong, and he is, because Sam Howe, first year starting, he's making him look. I mean, Sam Howe was really good in college, mm -hmm. so it's just transition to professionals. But the play calling is going to help him in the long run, and all that. Uh, Temple has. The Bills, and I have went back and forth with this. I think the Commanders stay undefeated. I got them at home beating Buffalo. I, I think they're going to prove the doubters wrong. And, hey, watch out. The, hey, it, if they can t compete with the Cowboys, they might win that division. E and the Eagles, too. I think the Commanders have a good shot at making the playoffs. Yeah, I, I, mean, I really do. I like I, I like that team. I really I, do. I had the Giants last in the division before Saquon got hurt, before the season got started. Uh, but I didn't think – I mean, really just seeing how Sam will come out and play, I, I, I like their the Commanders' defense. Uh, but if he's able to actually produce, they still got uh, – Brian Robson has been really good for them. Uh, 
Terry, I think he was dealing with like turf toe or something, so he's still not even 100%. Uh, but yeah, I don't like the way the Bills have looked the first two games either way because they're one and one, right? Yeah, they're one and one. I, I haven't either, but I mean. And they played the Raiders last week, so I'm. Yeah, gonna, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I'm going to go with the Commanders. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, the next game, we got Houston at Jacksonville. Jacksonville didn't look good last week, but that was an awful game just overall. That was supposed to be a shootout, too. That's what's yeah, I know well, people who bet the over was pissed. Yeah, I would have been, too. Um, Houston's going to be one of those teams that's going to be in close games, but they're not winning this one. Jacksonville, and I think Jacksonville will look a lot better this week, mm -hmm. and uh, I, it might be a blowout. I, that, that's why I'm, I'm I'm feeling a blowout, but it, I could be wrong. I'm gonna take Jacksonville. I like Houston. I like CJ Stroud, but I don't. It's going to take more than what they got yeah, right now. I think they just need like another another weapon, really. Honestly, I think they need another season or two, but that's just me. Um, but yeah, we all got Jacksonville. Uh, Colts at Baltimore. This might be different for me if Anthony Richardson was playing. Um, but with him not playing, uh, I'm going Ravens. And I don't – I think the Colts defense could stay in because, hey, that Colts defense mm -hmm. is not bad at all. They're really solid throughout. But uh, might be one of those low-scoring games that Baltimore just takes away in the fourth quarter and, you know mm – -hmm. But Baltimore, dude, they got so many injuries, too. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. Do. But they got Lamar and who does the Colts have? Andy Dalton or uh, who are their I thought it was uh, Gardner. Gardner. Oh, wait a minute. It was Gardner. Uh, which team is it? Oh, the Panthers. Mm -hmm. That That's what I'm thinking of. But, yeah, I mean, Minshew, you, hey, he's a Pac-12 guy. So, I, hey, I remember him at Washington State. But uh, yeah, um, give me the Ravens in a close, I, on in a close one, I believe. Yeah, I'll take Ravens too. Yeah, we all got Ravens. Carolina at Seattle. Um, uh, with Bryce Young not playing, I don't even care who's playing at quarterback. Uh, Carolina is in the same boat as Houston, but I think Carolina will win more games. Um, give me Seattle definitely at home too. I'm going to take Seattle, too. Carolina's O-line just isn't – it's not good at all. It's not. And then Seattle, I mean, I think Seattle, that's just a good win. for That'd be a good win for them. They, they've looked solid, too. So, mm -hmm. I mean, it's not like winning it. I think – was that game in Detroit last year? Yeah, or, or it was last, week? yeah, 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 it, was yeah it was. So, I mean, that was a great win. So, I think they just keep the momentum. Uh, talk about a disappointing team. Uh, the Chicago Bears at the Kansas City uh, Chiefs this week. I I think this is what the Chiefs is going to need. They need a team that's just not looking good that and they can beat up on. That they can beat up on and look like the old Chiefs that we know. You know, with the Super Bowl runs they've had. And yeah, I I expect the Chiefs. It might stay close for one half, but I think the Chiefs uh, go away with this one and probably win by – it might be two touchdowns, maybe more. I don't know. Yeah, I got the Chiefs. They may – you know, it's probably it maybe a 17, 20-point game, honestly. Just – the Chicago, they have a lot of stuff going on on the field and off the field. They just suck. Hey. They suck. And it, it, do, it doesn't – and I know, I know the frustration with uh, – DJ Moore and everything, but when the video comes out it, with him and Devin White talking, have you seen that one? Mm -hmm. You get a video like that, and I know players just be talking, but you get a video like that, that's not really a good sign, especially for the locker room. Well, yeah, it's not. I just didn't – I mean, you would think it's supposed to be a good, uh, a good signing, but just – just the personnel and just everything around the team, it just didn't make sense because I guess, and like I said, it was to me, it's just Justin Fields' form really because I think that's why he ends up throwing a lot of passes that are just end up bad. Yeah. So, and also, he's not reading defenses really that well mm -mm. right now. So, 
I, I really do hope he turns it around, but uh, not this week. I don't think so. Chiefs with a big one. Uh, Dallas at Arizona. Dallas big. I don't think we're going to talk about this one this much. Yeah, Dallas. Yeah, I think all of us got Dallas. Uh, Sunday night football and Jesus. Um, so, boy, I, I'm not really ready to watch this game. Uh, <laughs> no offense, Keon, but Pittsburgh at uh, the Raiders. Um, <laughs> this one, for me, is a tough one to even pick. I'm going to be honest with you. The Raiders are 0-2, uh, right? No, 1-1. 1-1. Oh, they won the first week. Yeah, they Den beat Denver. Because Denver was Yeah, yeah. And Raiders haven't looked good. Devontae Adams will request a trade. Yeah, I think I'm I'm gonna just call it right now. I think he'll request a trade this year and I think I think he'll be traded somewhere else. I don't know where, but somewhere else. Um If you think about it, normally when it's an AFC team they're gonna trade him to an NFC team. Mm -hmm. So somewhere in the NFC that I don't know where. Um, Temple has the Steelers on the road, and uh, if I had a coin, I would just flip it and pick one from you know Raiders for heads and then Steelers for tails. Honestly, that's how it would be. Um, so. Yeah, I think I'll just go Steelers because I I don't know because they got better defense. Yeah, that's true. I don't know, man. I don't know if I trust the Steelers on offense. Oh, I don't. Ain't Deontay still out? Yeah, is I, Pat I, still out? I don't know. I think he might. I think he's questionable. I think he's more on the healthy side. Okay. So I don't know. I I that that's part cool. I don't know. Might be one of those game time decisions. Um. I'm going to go Raiders. I'm going to go Raiders. Oh, okay. Something's just telling me. Something's telling me. Okay. And I don't know why we got two Monday night football games. Again? I, I hate this. Yes. Again. Mm -hmm. And we'll talk about the other game because I, uh, the Rams at Cincinnati. I don't know what's the status of Joe this week. Is he Who's going? Who's their backup? I think he's going to play, but I just want to know who's his backup, just in case. If, uh, I, guess, I, yeah, uh, I don't, I don't know who the backup is. <laughs> Does that say much? Probably. Um, um, I'm expecting Joe to play, and with that being said, I'm expecting him to play better because I mean, he needs to. Uh, <laughs> Don't know if he's how I don't, I don't know how that injury is, but it seems like he's still hurt. But mm -hmm. 0 two, they did this last year. Give me the Bengals. I'm gonna go Cincinnati too. Um, yeah, we're all going with Cincy. Zero and two, you gotta. This is a game you gotta win against a Rams team without Cooper Cup. You know, and the Rams yeah. just su surprisingly look decent in their games. So. I will say when Cooper Cup comes back. Oh man, hey, that division is tough. Minus uh, Arizona this year. Um, and the other Monday night football game, we got the Philadelphia Eagles at my Tampa Bay Buccaneers. We got we got them at home, so so I'm hey I'm liking that. And you can't deny Baker Mayfield, boy, he looked good last week, and he really didn't have any bad passes. Not no knucklehead passes. You're like, what the hell are you doing? I hope he keeps it up. And trust me, I didn't. I I wasn't expecting two and zero. Oh. If I'm being honest, I was not expecting two and zero. Oh. Maybe one and one at best. Um, I wasn't expecting two and zero. Oh. Definitely, probably not expecting three and zero. Oh. But it's my team, and uh, until they lose, hey, I'm gonna pick them. So. I, I got Tampa Bay, um, and honestly, if they can do a good balance like they've been doing and keep the ball out of Philly's hands like they did with Chicago for a good extent, I think they can manage this game, and I think it'll be low. I think this is going to be a low-scoring game somewhat. So, 
think it's going to be more of a defensive game, but we'll see. Uh, Temple got the Eagles, you know. Whatever. Yeah, I'm gonna take the Eagles. Uh, <laughs> well, <laughs> mm. Man, it's Jalen Hurts and them boys. What you mean? Okay, hey, that Tampa Bay defense gonna prove something again. What they gonna prove? Man, hey, that defense has been really, really good, and I, I expect them to be good again this week. I really do. I mean, if it wasn't a, we at home too. Mm. Hey, right. uh, you know we're gonna be more fired up about Monday night football Billy's, prime time. Billy's defense, though, Man. That's, that's gonna be the toughest defense y'all face. Yes, but come on now. I mean, if Baker. I mean, Baker gonna have to play a perfect game. No, he he ain't gonna have to play no perfect game. But what about Darius Slay? You don't think he's gonna get that one? If Mike Evans is going up against him, he gonna snag it. No, nah, he will. Nah. Darius Slay, heck of a player, but come on now. You got to realize Mike Evans is going to go up there and get it. Mm, come on Show now. me. Oh, but we'll see. We'll see. I I am excited to see how they do against the Eagles because that's definitely our toughest challenge. So, so we'll see. We'll see. But it's been week three predictions. Um, hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Uh, you know, hopefully everyone has – over 500 record uh, this week, too, but we'll see. I'm taking the lead this after this week. I have a feeling I'm going to take it. Well, hold on, hold on. We don't we don't have really much difference. It's only like two or three. That's One. Three. Okay. Well, we only, we're only different on three games. If I get two of those three, boy, hey, my lead is going up. I need all up. three. I need all three. Dude, I've, I think I'm more – I think Temple has got like four or five games compared to me different. But it, it, it really just depends. But week three, hope you guys enjoy. And see you guys for week four next week.